Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'll show how to crochet a dog and cat magnet for your door or refrigerator. They are great for holding up important notes. You'll need less than 25 yards of worsted weight yarn and a size F crochet hook. To begin the dog, make a magic ring, which if you've seen from my other videos is just a loose slip knot. Chain one. In this ring, make six single crochet stitches. Two, three, four, five, and six. Pull the tail end to close the ring. Slip stitch to the first stitch. Always slip stitch to the first stitch after every round for this part. For round two, start with the chain one. This time we'll be doing two single crochet stitches in each stitch around. To begin round three, start with the chain one. And this time we'll be doing the pattern of two single crochet stitches followed by a single crochet in the next stitch. For round four, the pattern this time is two single crochet in the same stitch, followed by a single crochet in the next stitch, and a single crochet in the next stitch. Two, then one, then one. For round five, the pattern this time is two single crochet in the stitch, followed by one single crochet, one single crochet, and one single crochet. And for our last round, we're going to do the pattern of two single crochet, and then one, two, three, and four. You can see what this looks like once completed. Make two of these head pieces. For the dog, I'm making his mouth area in white for three rounds and his nose for just one round of the six stitches. I place the white section onto the head area and sew it like this. Since we'll be sewing the other head part on the back, it will cover any thread ends in the back. After that, I sew on the nose. Then I embroider on the mouth and use quarter inch buttons as eyes. Next, I sew the two head parts along the edge. This makes the piece stronger and hides the sewing threads inside. For the ears, I'm going to start with a chain 16. Skip the first four chains. Now do one treble crochet in each of the next three chains. One, two, and three. Do one double crochet in each of the next three chains. One, two, and three. Do one half double crochet in each of the next chains. One, two, and three. And do one single crochet in each of the last three chains. One, two, and three. Then I sew on the ears on the top like this. Be sure to make two ears for your dog. Then I take some magnetic tape, which you can find in the craft places. If you don't have any, just remove the magnetic tape from magnets you already have. 
I find hot glue secures the magnet nicely to the back of yarn items. And that's how I make a dog magnet. Now the cat magnet is made in a similar way. We'll need two pieces for the head. And with cats, I like to use some pink yarn and embroider a triangular nose along with whiskers and a mouth. The ears are made by starting with the chain six. Skip the first chain and make one single crochet in each of the five chains. Two. Three. Four. And five. Then chain one and turn. Make one single crochet in each of the five single crochet across. This time, turn your work, but don't chain anything. Skip the first stitch and make one single crochet in the next three stitches. And three. Slip stitch in that last stitch. Turn work, do not chain, skip the first stitch, and one single crochet in the next two stitches. Slip stitch in the last stitch. Turn your work. Skip the first stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, slip stitch in the last stitch. Turn your work. Single crochet on top of the single crochet. Sew on both ears to the cat and then sew the two head pieces together. Hot glue the magnet on the back and you're done. And that's how I make a dog and cat magnet. To get more videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.